on the street. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Babs. How you doing? How are you? Good. I'd like you to meet Dave from LC International. How are you? Dave's hey, unloading Dave. his truck outside Sold the Cuba Cafe. He's on his rounds for the morning from Long Wharf. Are you headed to Sold the Cuba? Yes, sir. So do you come here every morning? Uh, about three times a week. And you come from a produce company? Uh, I come from an Italian import company. We just have produce as well. And so what else do you import? Like tomatoes and things like tomatoes, that? Tomatoes, uh, a lot of sausages, uh, the beef, stuff like that. Mostly the flour, the cheese. And what are you delivering here? Let's see, we got eggplants? No. Yeah, so he's got his pork belly, he's got his chicken, he's got pork flesh, his oil, he's got some produce, uh, peppers, onions, chef potatoes, he's got some ground beef, and he's got chicken tight. How many stocks are you doing today, Dave? Today's only 12, it's a light day. What's the typical wow. day? Oh, 15. 15? But it could be 12 grueling stops, you know. <laughs> so it all depends on how the day is booked. We're still early in the week. What time do you start? Uh, I'm in work at about 1.30 in the morning. 1.30 in the morning? What? Yeah. yeah. Is that, and does your work begin with, like, loading the trucks? So what I'll do is I'll pick all the orders with uh, another guy. We'll pick everything for the truck, and then I'll help them load it. And then uh, usually I don't drive unless we're short help, but we seem to be short help on a regular. And is that because everyone's having trouble finding enough people to work? Pretty much, yeah. So normally, what would you do if you weren't driving the truck? I would have been done probably about 9.30-ish. Maybe That's I would have stayed hours. a little bit in the warehouse, depending if they need some stuff done. And how much extra does the driving make your day? What do you mean, hour-wise? Uh, it could double up my, my paycheck, so it could put me for another 40 for the week. Wow, so you worked 80 hours. How long has this been going on, Dave, since the pandemic? Uh, about two years here, but I've been doing this probably about seven years. I worked for another company doing the same thing. And what's your job called? Uh, well, I'm a, a warehouse guy. I'm a driver. I'm pretty much wherever you need me to be. I could do it. I could do whatever they need. I guess what I'm interested in is like the cops, too. They have to work these double shifts because there aren't enough people. Exactly. So for two years now, you've been working double shifts? About a year now on the double shifts. Uh-huh. Um, seven years in total, like with the business. So uh, I'd say about a year solid, I've been doing the double shifts. The year before that was kind of maybe once a week. I would have to go out. And when, you, when do you find out? You come in at 1.30, you load in the truck, you look at the orders. When do you I'll find, find out? out probably truck? about 7.30, 8 o'clock when somebody calls out. So Oh, someone calls out. So I'll find out when one of the drivers called out, and then they'll ask me if I, if I want to take the run. So how often do they call out? I'm good for about three times a week now. So three times a week you're working the double. Yeah. So you found out what time this morning that you're working the double? Uh, about 7.30. And what did you think when it came? Like uh, well, I kind of knew it was going to happen because the guy that usually drives this truck is good to call out on Mondays. And then we had another guy call out right after that. And why is it good to call out on Mondays? Long weekend? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. He can't get out of bed. I haven't figured it out yet. And how do you get out of bed at 1.30 every morning? Believe it or not, my alarm clock goes off. I get up, I brush my teeth, get dressed, and I'm out the door. It takes me all about 15 minutes from getting out of bed to getting into the car to warm up. And do you live in New Haven, Dave? Yes, sir. Do you enjoy this? Yeah, I do, actually. What do you like about it? I like the flexibility to being able to move around. Uh, I like to stay physical. I like to change. So it's nice. You know, I could be in the warehouse all week, but then I get to go out. And then I get a different run. So it's not like my run. I get whoever's run. Uh -huh. So you get the change. And do you, do you ever go back to the restaurants to eat later that you brought the food to? Where do you like to go? Uh, I like to go all over the place. But I'm a pizza guy, so I like to go to the Palmas and eat pizza. And like you there. delivered it to Palmas too? I do. What do you deliver there? Sauce, flour, produce, the cheese, pepperoni, stuff like that. And how often do you go there to eat? Uh, probably once a week to eat. Uh, it depends. Maybe twice a week. You know, I got four kids at home. So sometimes my wife gets home at 7 o'clock. It's just easier to order something. What does she do? <laughs> She's a medical assistant. And how, do you, how, uh, how did you get into this line of work? Uh, I started with the Vance Paper Company years ago. And we were actually on the same terminal. I was farther down. He sold out the WB Mason. I hung around for a little while, and then I ended up coming to that. And company. he also, you loaded trucks and made deliveries for him? Yes, sir. Babs, do you have any questions for Dave? I'm, I, I, I am fascinated by this life. <clears throat> so t tell me, um, how far do you get to travel delivering stuff? Is it just Greater New Haven? Is it Where do you get to go? Well, uh, I get to travel. The farthest I'll go out is maybe Cromwell. Uh, today will be Old Saybrook. But oh, as far oh, as our company, we go as far as New York, uh, Springfield, Mass. So you go as far as Cromwell? Yeah. How far are you going to go today? Today I'm going Old Saybrook. That's it. Old Saybrook. So, yeah. that's, so that's a big drive. Where, where do you go there? Uh, Kenny's Pizza and Fury Pizza will be my last two. Fury? And then I'll come back down into New Haven to do Costa Pizza. Costa. Yeah, he's going to be my last guy because he opens late. And Fury is F-U-R-Y? Yep. All right.
Should we let Dave get back to his rounds? I'll get his photos and stuff. What time? What time does your day end, Dave? Uh, today it should probably end about one thirty, two o'clock. So then you, what do you do the rest of the time? Like, what do you do when you're off? When you get off work, what do you do? Uh, well, today I, I don't know exactly what I'll do today, but I know around four thirty I'll pick my wife up and then I'll start the night routine. Get the kids showered up, get dinner situated. She works from home as well, so she'll do that for a few hours. And you're in New Haven, right? You yes, live? Sir. All right, yeah. wow. right Babs. Well, thank Babs you for your story. So thank you for thanks for getting us the food. This yeah, no Paul problem. and Dave signing out from Love Babs, Love Talk. Oh Word God, on the I street love that we get to find out about people and what they do. And they live in New Haven. Thanks, Dave. Dave is delivering. Kind of cool, Harry. He's got a wife, four kids. He's out there working, man. Work it. <laughs>